Okay, I wanted to take a few minutes just to talk about what I thought is the most complicated part of dealing with these silly little brains. You can buy these off of eBay for $25, $30. You have to have the G4 for 24 volts, G5 for 48 volts. Now, looking at the instructions, let's see here. You have to program the things. You know, it's like, it, it marks, you know, high volts, low volts, but it doesn't really tell you what the what the thing is doing on each one. And there, there is a video of a guy programming them. Same thing, it kind of talks a little bit about what changes what, but... I don't know. It took a little while for me to figure out exactly how to pull this off. And basically, what, what you do is you've got two buttons on the bottom. Whenever you push the set button, or there's a set button on the left, enter button on the right, you, your set button, that shifts you through the menu. Now this first menu is going to be your high voltage. Your high voltage is, um, it, it kind of depends on the la last box. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Your first menu is your high voltage. Now, whatever you want this set to, whichever digit is blinking, that's the one you can adjust. You adjust it with the button on the right, the enter button. So if you want 27 volts, you shift through until you get 27 volts let's we'll say I want to change it to 27.1 so now it's 27.1 the second menu that's going to come up it's going to be your second number here is going to be your low volts it's the same thing you're going to cycle through each digit and set it to whatever you want that number to be the third menu I still haven't figured out what the third menu is supposed to be the, the instructions say leave it zero. Uh, this is a display delay. I don't know what that's supposed to do for us, but uh, I've changed that number to everything and it hasn't seemed to make any difference at all. Now this is where it, uh, you, you change what happens with the, the high voltage versus low voltage. This determines whether the machine is gonna turn on at the high voltage or turn off at the high voltage. But like right now, with it set to the high, and this is usually what most people are gonna want. With it set to high, that first menu, where it says 27.1, that means that the power is going to come, or, or that the, uh, the relay is gonna come on at 27.1 volts. And then whenever your voltage drops down to 24.9, it's going to turn the relay off. And then it won't come back on until voltage gets back up to 27.1. Whatever that is, whatever the delay is for something, I'm sure it does something. Now, if you turn this to the low, it's going to turn on at the low voltage. It'll turn on at that 24.9 volts and it'll turn off at 27.1, what I got to set at. What that does is, I, I believe, if you're going to set it up for a dump load controller to where it'll turn on at that voltage, I don't know why you would do that. Because you can do the same thing setting the high voltage. Anyway, I just thought... That I'd go over that a little bit because all the videos that I saw they didn't really make a whole lot of sense the instructions didn't make a whole lot of sense to me and it took me a little bit of experimenting to figure out exactly how to make it work so I've got it working and it seems to be working pretty well or in a predictable fashion and that's what I want in the in my tools so, anyway that's that thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day